Um, she comes first. Yeah, girlfriend comes first all the time. Yeah, but dude, oh man, shit went down on Monday. Oh my god, what dude. What the hell? Oh, uh, okay. I barely just got into work, right? And I, I, I wanted to do perimeter, but since there was, uh, we had two noobs doing it. So basically, I had to do the aisles, and I hate doing the aisles. It sucks. Uh -huh. I don't give a crap where they say, oh, it's so easy. No way. It's fucking sucks. Well, well anyways, right when I start uh, start doing the aisles, the one, my manager, Renee, fucking walks up. And he says, hey, there's a dog in the back. Go, uh, help me get it. And so we start going to the back, and it's a freaking Wattweiler, a baby. Uh, not like a puppy, but more like a mature Wattweiler. Like a teen? Yeah, like a teen, a pink nose one, one of the really expensive ones, you know? Uh-huh. Well, he, he's in the back fucking just sniffing the meat. So I grab him by the collar and I told him, here, you take him. And the guy in produce, his name is Ray. Well, he grabs the dog and starts taking him to the front. And right when he starts taking him to the front, all you hear is my manager say, stop him. And like, oh, shit. Oh, like at least four of us start running towards the front. And the ma and right when you get to the front, all you hear is gong. And like, what the fuck? What hit the like something hit like a gong? You like really hard. Yeah. So we run up. Me and a, and a friend. Uh, me and the guy that was walking the aisles. His name is um um what's his name? Uh, Edward Ford. Well, anyways, he and I start running, and Ray already ran up to the front with a dog, and with the manager chasing some guy. We by the time we get up there, I look out. My friend J uh, Jerome is on the floor, like gasping for air because I, uh, he I thought for for certain that the guy that that robbed, not like he robbed any money, but he stole like two cases of Bush 18 packs. I guess. And I thought he sucker punched him like really good, and he fucking got on the floor, right? Uh huh. So I told him, "Are you all right?" He says, "Yeah, go, go, go." So we both run up. Edward and me start running up, and by the time we get to the corner of the of by the store. The guy's already by DQ, and the manager's like a good four to five feet away from him. So we both look at each other, and like at that moment, we're like, yeah, we ain't running. <laughs> yeah, like it was – no words were said, but we pretty much thought the same thing. <laughs> in the car. We ran to his car. We fucking start go going to – we get into the car reverse, and all of a sudden, this asshole just comes out of nowhere and fucking like pretty much blocks the shit out of us. And we're like, get the fuck out of the way pretty much. Uh huh. And it's this old fucking dude. He, he took like a good five seconds to <laughs> park his car. I'm like, come on! <laughs> Híjole. By the time he fucking parks, we get out. I we, I was keeping an eye on the manager where he was going, and Edward was Edward was like, hey, okay, where did he go? Okay, I saw him go behind DQ. So drive up to DQ. He's probably going to, up to school, right? So by the time we go up there, there's shit ton of traffic. Be, uh, because it's like uh, barely uh, eight o'clock and all the kids are getting out of school. Eight o'clock. Oh no! Wait, uh, four four thirty ish. That's when all the parents are getting their kids out of school and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, by the time we get up, th uh, get over there, like it's it's like already a good like thirty seconds, and we're like, where the hell are they? And I look, they're behind the DQ, and we fucking drive up to the side. He he gets out and. Uh, because he's the big guy, he's the only one that's like literally can hold on to this guy pretty much. So mm -hmm. he looks at me and says, "Hey, drive my car back." And I'm like, "What? Me? Yeah, you." I'm like, "All right, but I get in his car, I jump in his seat. Oh, I'm like, holy shit, this guy is huge. I had to like readjust everything, <laughs> his fucking mirrors and shit. I was like, God damn, this guy sits fucking far from the seat." Wow. I'm like, I, I felt like I was a mini him or something, but fuck it. I drove his car back. They're dragging the dude back. And by the time we got back, um, I, I finally parked his car. I was in his car for like a good 10 minutes trying to figure out how to get the damn key out of the ignition. I'm like, motherfucker won't get out. Like, it won't come out for some reason. And, like, I finally give up, and I'm like, dude, you're, I can't get your car out, your key out of your car. Oh, there's a hidden button. Face palm. I'm like, where the fuck is it? <laughs> well, I, he's like, oh, it's right here. I'm like, oh, obviously. I don't see a button. Uh -huh. You have to press really hard on a, on a fucking, like, 
padded part just so you can get to the button so you can unlock it. I was like, oh, okay. Great. By the time we get back, we're I'm all fucking... Uh, all stuffed up. All stuffed up because I'm like, man, this fucking took forever, dude. <laughs> and all... But, like, I was going towards the office to see if, like, when went down... And like all you hear is yelling and screaming at the fucking guy that robbed the f that tried taking like two cases of bush, of eighteen packs, and I'm like, oh fuck that, I right. I'm not fucking gonna yell that, so I fucking get out of there, and I I look at my friend that was on the floor, I tell him, did he like sucker punch you? And he says, no, I hit the pipe. Ah, oh, I'm like, you what hit the heck? what? So that was the gong that I heard. I was like. What the fuck hit the shit off something like boom? And later on that day, my manager just fucking got his iPhone and just recorded the whole thing on the screen and like shared it with everybody. Oh my god, dude, he hit the fucking pull up, <laughs> dude. I'm, I'm gonna throw this shit up on YouTube. This shit <laughs> hit a fucking million views for, like in a day. Really? I mean, he fuck like okay. Like, he, the way he did it was, like, he grabbed the guy from the side and, like, threw him to the side. But because of that, he lost his balance and pretty much went sideways while in motion going forward. He was pretty much, like, he pretty much got hit by the pole in the, in the gut. Wow. Like, while he was falling, he was still moving forward. I'm like, oh, and all he you just, Kong, and you just see him, oh, you just see him just <laughs> Air dude on the camera, I'm like, oh my god, he is, dude, he is the so hard, dude. Do you have it on YouTube somewhere or what? No, I, I, I'm not gonna be that tough of an asshole. My, my manager has it on his iPhone. I'm pretty sure he's gonna keep that shit for a while. You know, he's <laughs> gonna get rid of that for a while. He's gonna hold that for footage for a long time. <laughs> That sucks. Yeah, he hit the fucking pole hard, and when he he he, he pretty much was fucking hurt. Because he hit, the, he slammed that shit hard, and I, he said, "Oh man, I fucking, it hurts like hell." I, he opened his chest, dude. It looked like a fucking, oh, a Falco punch, dude. He, he was fucking bruised. Oh god. That was just within the first thirty minutes of fucking this shit after it happened, and I'm like, dude, that shit's gonna turn black. <sighs> it's gonna, it's gonna be a square, like a rectangle shape on his chest. <laughs> Like, he slammed the shit out of that pole pretty hard, dude. And, look, that wasn't even the funny part. Well, when we were chasing him, like, the guys that were still back there were like, are you okay? And you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, like, okay, he's like, he gets really pissed at shit that happens like this. And he's like, like, when they go inside, all they hear is a yell going, oh! <laughs> because he got pissed because he fucking let the guy go. Uh-huh. And like, what the fuck? He fucking yelled at himself <laughs> pretty much because he fucking let the guy go. But, like, it could have happened to all of us, dude. Hell, I would have gladly taken his place and they were fucking knocking the shit off him for that all day, dude. They were just, just talking mad shit. Like, man, I didn't know we had a code for that. I'm like, what code are you talking about? Like, Black Hawk down, Black Hawk down. I'm like, motherfucker, that's fucked up. <laughs> he's, he's from the military, dude. And we're like, man, we, we fucking get these code shit. I need, I need to stay, uh, stay longer for classes and shit, knowing this shit. I'm like, oh, my God. And everybody's pretty much for the last, last day. I think it was yesterday. Everybody was pretty much black out down, black out down. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I feel sorry for him, dude. Black Hawk down. Yeah, because, oh my god, dude. He fucking, like, it was just so bad when he, when we found him. Okay, we looked at the footage earlier, and when he was, when he caught the guy, the manager pretty much grabbed him, thinking that he was the guy that took the beer, and he's like, oh shit, it's not him. And he pretty much threw him back on the floor. Wow. Like, he didn't even fucking say, hey, are you alright? He says, yeah, go, go, go. No, he just grabs Jerome and throws him back on the floor and starts chasing the guy. I'm like, what the fuck? That was <laughs> fucked up. Like, he didn't even see like if he was okay. What the heck? Yeah, like the manager was like, "Oh, go get him." <laughs> oh man, it was just so hilarious that day. Wow. And Sounds like you had fun. It was just the beginning of the day. <laughs> we like we're like, ah, fuck it. And my friend Edward was pretty much like, "Oh yeah, I forgot. I need to go pick up my ring at uh, I call it at uh, South Park." So we, I'm like, 
fuck it. We'll, we'll go like around six o'clock or uh -huh. 30. So by the time it gets to that, we're like, Hey man, we feel like eating. You know what? Since uh, Chick Fil A's at the mall, let's go get some Chick Fil A. He said, "Oh hell yeah, let's go get some Chick Fil A." Well, anyways, when we go, we did, you know we just, we pretty much like neglected to not uh, clock out, so we were pretty much getting paid to go eat. Wow. We pretty pretty much like, oh, we're walking out, we're getting paid for it. You know what? Fuck it. So. We fucking wait there. I'm going to skip that because I don't want – okay, fuck it. That's not like anybody's going to hear this. Well, Edward's like in the car. I'm like, are you going to start the engine? Oh, I'm waiting for someone. Who, <laughs> who, 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 who's coming? A, uh, a buyer. What, what buyer? Oh, okay. I was like, oh, okay. I get you. Because he, he gave me a look saying, come on. You really think I'm going to say a buyer? I'm like, oh, okay. He was selling him like two pounds of weed. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was like, okay. I'm just waiting the patiently in the back, just noticing all this fucking badass shit he has in his car, in his fucking van, like, like three, uh, like five by five, uh, six, uh, t LED TVs on his seats of the of the heads, so they yeah. can watch in the back. Dude, he has all this good shit everywhere. What the hell? How much is he making? <laughs> around five thousand dollars a week the hell what does he do he only he, he goes to uh okay um uh, fuck it he's, it's not like anybody fucking listen to me anyways there's like uh he goes to dallas for like every week he spends like he he goes to hotels stays there for two days pretty much because he gets uh they give him cash to spend for spending their spending the t d time to fucking sell the stuff right so he uh -huh. grabs like at least a good 10 pounds of marijuana comes back sells it for t uh, five thousand dollars and pretty much like a quarter of the profit is goes goes back to them because he he makes most of the sales, you know. Yeah. Well, his friend got a shipment of a hundred and seventy five thousand pounds. A marijuana. No wait, what the hell? I over exaggerated. He got a hundred and seven pounds worth of marijuana that that got delivered. So okay. pretty much need to get rid of the shit real quick because that was. Yeah. So anyways, we're, we're, by the time that guy gets there and he's like, hey, you uh, like the way they transported it was like. Hey, here's a McDonald's bag. I'm like, that fucking ghetto. <laughs> he transported it in a McDonald's bag. I'm like, oh, that's not suspicious at all. <laughs> okay, that's not obvious at all. So fucking like, he finally gets the money. He's like, oh shit, I'm gonna go get my pink ring. So we finally drive up to fucking uh, fl uh, no, we finally get to the mall. Oh. And it started pouring rain and like, oh my god, like it's just it's just started pouring really bad. So you start walking up and I, I told him, hey, your car lights are on. Oh, don't worry, they'll turn off in, in a couple of seconds. Two minutes go by and I'm like, dude, your lights are still on. No, 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 it, it'll, it'll shut off. Another three minutes pass by and I'm like, dude, your lights are turning off. And like once we he starts walking towards it, the lights turn off. That was a whole fight of his lights not turning off. And... <laughs> Like, oh, okay, fuck it. When we start going back inside the mall, we fucking, like, literally forget about the food and start walking towards the jeweler uh, jeweler that he's getting his ring. And the dude, the thing is, he told the guy to get a, a fitting for it, and when we go get the ring, it didn't even fit him very well. So he had we had to wait an extra 25 minutes, plus the driving all the way over there, plus the five minutes wait knocking off. That's already 45 minutes into there, right? So yeah. Like since 6:30, it's already 7 uh 7:30 ish. So by wow. the we fucking go back, we start knocking off. We start looking at all the jewelry and all that type of shit. I'm like, uh, and he's like, hey, you like anything? I'm like, they don't have emeralds. Emeralds? He looks at me all weird. Like, why don't you like diamonds? I like emeralds. <laughs> like, <laughs> he, he, that look, you're like, man, you retarded. You know what I mean? But, <laughs> So he's like looking through all the jewelry, and by the time we get to the where well, he gets his ring, he's like, "Man, it doesn't even go all the way back." I'm like, "Dolly doesn't go all the way back. Your fingers that fat." And he's like, "No, no, they can refit it." I'm like, "Dude, beyond this point, there's nothing but bone. You cannot make this ring go back any further than it is on the pinky." So he pretty much like, "Ah, oh, fuck it. I'll, I'll just walk it off." And he's like. Like, I've never seen a guy ever, like, do some gay poses in his life looking at a ring. <laughs> like, like, he's put his, like, his hand on his chin, like, looking at a mirror, like, oh, god damn. I'm like, I'm laughing my ass off looking at him doing this shit. It was <laughs> hilarious. And by the time I realized it, I'm like, 
dude, what time is it? It's already 8.30. We're on break for two and a half hours. No, wait, two hours pretty much. Wow. And, like, pretty much I'm like, oh, fuck, we're going to get yelled at. He's like, oh, no, no. It, it's pr it's probably slow. We're not going to get yelled at. So by the time we get our food and get the fuck out of there, I'm like, I had to munch down my food real quick because, fuck, it was already 8.30 and the store was going to close in about an hour and a half. No, wait. Uh-huh. Like an hour. No, wait. Two hours. An hour and a half, yeah. So I, I munched down my food and pretty much, like, it was dead completely, dude. I'm mean, like, dude, we pretty much knock off, got paid for going for lunch, and pretty much ha we didn't have to do shit pretty much the rest of the day. <laughs> it was just hilarious. Like, dude, this was an awkward day. Wow, sounds like you had fun. It was a fun day, dude. I never had so much fun knocking off. <laughs> Pay for it. That was just fucking awesome. Uh, hmm. Wow. And I had, and I'm recording all of this. You are? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wait, wait, wait. Why are you recording this? I wanted to make a podcast. Oh, whoa. <laughs> we can't, we can't use that. Only some of it. <laughs> all of it, fuck it. Hopefully it's like less than 20 minutes. Oh man, that was. Well, I'm saying like it's it's funny because like you know we can only use some a part of it because like a lot of it's illegal already. <laughs> I don't give a shit. It's just, it's just, it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. Oh, the, um, okay. That podcast you can use for yourself. I'll just send you the uh, what do you call it. <laughs> I'll send you the animation stuff. Oh, I call it. I I have that picture that you made me once. The one with me and and your and your fox with the wrench in his in his mouth. Oh yeah. I'll just use that. Okay. <laughs> dude, like, uh, I've been wanting to tell you this since Monday, dude, but you never, you haven't been on. Monday, Monday, Monday. Well, shit, dude, because I was working that day too. Remember? Oh fuck, he's not gonna be on. So I, I waited for like the last couple of days for you to get on, but you weren't on. Wait, let's see. A couple of days. It's only been two days. Calm down. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> uh, that was funny. I'm going to stop the recording now. Okay.